It's the shakeup lawmakers and advocates have been waiting for since media reports came out about violent cell extractions on January 11th at Edna Mahan Correctional Facility. New Jersey's only women's prison. That was not the first chapter in the long book of this facility, and I've just made a decision enough. On Monday, Governor Phil Murphy announced his intention to shut down the prison after an independent report he commissioned was released. 24 hours later, Department of Corrections Commissioner Marcus Hicks announced his resignation. After combing through more than 21,000 documents, 20 hours of video footage and interviews with state officials, former state controller and federal prosecutor Matt Boxer gives us an inside look as to how this all unfolded. This is a very disturbing report. According to the report, NJDOC documentation states that the associate administrator, along with two majors at the facility, approved the cell extractions after a series of splashing incidents, a term used to refer to an inmate squirting a correctional officer with liquid, often urine or feces. There was no acting administrator, even though Commissioner Hicks was under the impression there was one. Unclear and informal authorization protocols likely contributed to the cell extractions. The report concludes, adding cell extractions were not properly recorded, officers used excessive force and filed false reports, and staff failed to prevent mail viewing of inmate strip searches. The report finds the series of cell extractions were so mishandled as to result in the injury of multiple inmates and the ultimate suspension of 34 EMCF supervisors and staff. Happiness, relief, um, a little sadness because it shouldn't have gotten this far. Former Edna Mahan inmate Tony Bolton has fought for years to get the facility shut down. I hope that it's not all talk. Are you fearful at all for the women inside for where they might be transferred to? I'm praying that it's not something worse. What I heard from many of the women was that they did not want the um, prison closed, that the campus was beautiful, that the potential for programming was extraordinary. Budget-wise, wouldn't it be cheaper to repair and replace? I don't know what uh, closure has to do with culture. Get this facility uh, at long last into our rearview mirror. Governor Murphy explained shutting down the prison will be a multi-year process that will require cooperation from the legislature and in the interim, reforms need to happen immediately. Among the report's suggestions are independent oversight, clarified cell extraction protocols, de-escalation training, body cameras, and fixing the infrastructure of the more than 100-year-old facility. Department of Corrections spokesperson told us in a statement they took swift action when they first learned about the January 11 incident and plan to implement reforms. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Leah Mishkin.